Hey everybody, this is Chuck with Little Kids Rock. Welcome back to another edition of the Weekly Riff. This time we're doing One Love by Bob Marley. Let's get in close and look at what chords we need to know to play this on the keys. To get started, let's take jam card number one for the right hand and line the start arrow, the root note, up to the letter A on our piano. That's going to show us a chord that has a black key as the middle note. The next chord that we want is the D chord. So let's move our start arrow up to D here in between the two black keys. And again, we notice the red, yellow, and green key markers are pointing to another chord where the middle note is a black key. And finally, let's move this card up to the letter E, where again, the red, yellow, and green are pointing to a chord that has a black key in the center. So without the jam card, I can remember that. It's a family of chords, all with a black key in the center. The A chord, the D chord, and the E chord. The only weird chord in this is the minor chord we've got to use on F sharp. So if I take this minor chord card number five here and line that up to the F sharp, you see? Now it's the opposite of what we had before. It's a black key, a white key, and a black key on top. So it's a white key in the middle this time. The F sharp, the A, and the C sharp. And on all these chords, I'm trying to use one, three, and five with my right hand. I use my fingers to aim at the keys, and I use the weight of my arm to push down, always. The fingers don't really play the piano. They just aim at the keys. The weight of the arm is what plays the keys. Putting these chords together on the piano with a pattern works like this. It's going to go left, right, 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 left, right. The whole time, just left, right. Feel alright. Now, I'm going to play that again, except I'm going to put the right hand here. You won't see my left hand. It'll be playing the root of each chord down low. So anyway, here it is. I'm still going left, one, low. E, one heart, and the D. Let's get together and feel alright. Let's do it again. A, one love. E, one heart. D, let's get to A and E, all A. Now the verse. A, F sharp minor, D, Back to A. Repeat that way. F sharp minor. D. Back to A. Repeat again. A. F sharp minor. D. Back to A. One more time. Then we get to F sharp minor. D. Finally A. And then you repeat the chorus. Soloing over this song is going to use this scale card number one, major pentatonic, and again, we're going to line the root note up to the note A. So, um, actually, I'm going to put it higher up. Chords should be played here in the middle of the keyboard, but when we take a solo, we usually use notes that are up high. So I'm going to put this card up high where the notes can be heard. And the notes that this card is pointing to are a, B, this black key called C sharp, E, this black key called F sharp, and then at the top this is just a repeat of the first three, the A, the B, and this high C sharp. Let's play along with the jam track and see how it sounds. Here we go with a little solo over this piece. Now my pentatonic scale is in place, here I go. I try in general when I'm soloing to use my middle finger, which is the longest one, to play the black key, and my thumb and my pointer to play the white keys. So I'll go like this, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three. And that fingering system works great, but I'm not sticking to it above everything else. Sometimes I improvise with which fingers I use as well.
The final element in playing the song is the little melody on the toy piano sound we hear at the beginning of the track. And that starts out by playing these two notes together, A and C sharp. Then those two notes move down to G sharp and B at the same time. The next two notes are D and F sharp at the same time. Stepping down to C sharp and E, stepping down to B and D, stepping down to A and C sharp, back up to B and D, back down to A and C sharp, skip up to C sharp and E, step down to B and D, step down to A and C sharp. So here's how that sounds in a row, the A and C sharp. Step down, G sharp and B. Here comes the D. Walk it down. I hope you've enjoyed these lessons on One Love. If there's any way I can improve these videos to help you or your students more, please let me know by emailing me, chuck at littlekidsrock.org. Also, if you haven't played any guitar before, check out the guitar video on this song. And See if you can even encourage students to add that to your rock band in your classroom. We'll see you next time on the Weekly Riff.